Hey guys, it's me, uh, Insomniac, and today, uh, I got an episode for you, that is... It was a busy day on the island of Sodor. One day, Thomas was around the line taking, taking a load of trucks as he saw Percy. Hey, Percy. You out there yet doing, doing your own job again? Presumably so. I just wish... But, um, the only concern is Jesse, as you might figure it out. Why? Well, hope nothing wrong happens, especially if you're, uh... Especially if I'm what? I'm not going after her anyway. Fuck, right. So the day of Sodor remained as something concerning was about to be. But the one thing concerning is... Oh, there you are, Caitlin. I don't know what to tell you. Talk to me about it. Uh, okay. I'll see you then. Wait. Wait up, I haven't got a chance to speak. Sorry, no sooner was you, man. I well, know I'm going to spend an entire night on out. Ugh, so you know, it just won't be enough for me. <sighs> Meanwhile, Percy is just going about his work. Thomas arrived with just one coach. What are you doing here, Thomas? Just taking one coach. I mean, hey, that's not the least I can do. Well, um, hope you don't get sidetracked. Nothing's gonna go wrong. I mean, I'm not stupid, am I? Well, just what I'm saying. Good luck, then, idiot. The duck was approaching the train of bands. Thomas thought to himself, isn't that how that stupidity is going to be? Like if Jesse's going to be in the middle of nowhere? What's going to happen? A messenger will not come in for service or anything. What happens then? The duck approached the top of the hill. But one of the vans broke loose. Oh no. Nope, not happening. Thomas, you rescued my vans there? Okay, duck. Don't worry about it. You take the rest of the two and I'll take the rest there. And all of them is mine. Okay, suit yourself, Thomas. Be stupid enough. Alright, see ya, duck. Oh. oh, neck. I just can't can't get to sleep. Oh. 
Uh, me neck hurt. Oh well. I guess I'll just stand here until until I get to sleep. Okay, it's been over an hour. Jesse's not out there. What's going on? I don't know, Thomas. It's, um, hmm. There'll probably be a figuring out, though. Wait. I know something that'll do. Which I don't know of. I don't know if something that'll work. What are you doing, Thomas? I'm doing something. I'm doing something. Just wait. Thomas, whatever you're doing doesn't look like... Bling. I hate spaghetti. You must die. What have I done? I don't know. What have you done, Thomas? That's up to you. It's not my fault. It's you. You stupid. Thomas, why don't you ask me? It's been two hours and Jessie's not here. It's been two hours and she's not here? Of course. Okay, uh, I tell you what, my crews are back here already. They're working on getting those trucks out of here. And hopefully something like this should not happen again. If you wish so, Thomas, then you're probably being dumb enough for a reason. No way, Percy. I'm just gonna... Be lucky as you don't need me. Right. See ya. I'll never talk to you again. Jesse, it's been three hours and you've not exited here. What's going on? I didn't sleep well. Ugh, me neck hurt. That's life-threatening. I just can't. Oh my god. How could I look? It's not what you think it is. It's, it's just not normal for me, okay? Well, I guess that's on you, not me. Don't know what you're going to say about this one. I can quite see it. Probably. This has been a Colin Frankenbach, no Scott Winmiler Productions. Actually, we need edgy stuff now. <laughs>